Hello, you can use RS Prime Migration and Modernization Toolkit 2020 to automatically migrate any popular relation database management system. In this video, we will demonstrate how to implement this task, performing migration from Microsoft SQL Server to PostgreSQL as an example. For this demo, we have prepared a database in Microsoft SQL Server. You can see it opened in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and an empty PostgreSQL database where converted objects will be loaded. So let's start with the RSPress with Wizard tool. This is a tool that can connect to the Microsoft SQL Server database using the ODBC connection only. So you need to tune the ODBC DSN for MS SQL and specify it on the chooser source database page. Also, you need to specify a user and a password with the appropriate rights for making selects from system tables from MS SQL. On the Choose a Target Database page, you need to choose the target database from the list of the supported databases. As you can see, the PostgreSQL database is specified here. Also, we need to provide other credentials like server name, database, user and a password for the Postgres database for support of definitions and data load using native utilities of this database. All the objects that SQL manages to extract from the Microsoft SQL Server, it depicts in a tree view on the specified database objects page. Here you can select all the required objects for the migration. After that, you can specify different options that helps you to customize Microsoft SQL Server to PostgreSQL conversion, like options that control the schema names conversion, data types conversion, and etc. On the specify export file options page, you need to provide the directory, which serves as an intermediate repository for the whole migration process and stores all the automatically generated files like SQL files with the connoted code, txt files with the data, bat or sh file. On the specify import options page, we need to specify a bin directory option. Bin directory is a path where native utilities of the target database are allocated. It is required if we want to make an import of the converted objects into the target database. Also, Microsoft SQL Server to PostgreSQL migration process is performed in two steps. Each of them has separate login information. For the export process, there is provided the SQLways.log file with the information about the objects read from the SQL Server database, their number, number of rows of data, and the size of the data per each table extracted, number of lines of code per each business logic objects. At the end of the export log file, there is provided the summary information per each object type and the total information for the whole database export. Similar information, but in more readable format, is provided in the SQLways underscore report HTML file. There is a table with the complete export status and statuses per each object type. And there are also tables with the list of objects and more detailed statistics for each object extracted from Microsoft SQL Server database. As for the import process, SQLways generates SQLways IMP.log file that contains information about what object is being loaded and whether there are any issues during the import process or no. Now let me show you an example of the procedure in Microsoft SQL Server and how it was converted into PostgreSQL database. So our procedure includes representative statements like if, then construction, while loop construction, DML statements and cursor usage. And here it is how it was converted. So we can see that this function populates the test table with some data. So let's check in the target database where this object was converted properly. So let's review in the source database. We just select the test table in the source and we can see that it is empty. And let's select the same table in the target database. We can see it also empty. Now let's execute the procedure in the source and select from the test table. We can see that it returns some data. Let's do the same things in the target. We can see that in the target database, this test table was populated with the same data. So it means that the migrated function works correct in the target. Now let's open iSpy Angel Fly tool that was designed for database scripts and application scripts conversion purposes. 
in the angular file wizard you need to select the source type whether it is an application scripts or database scripts select the source technology in our case it is the source database is microsoft sql server and after that we need to select files with the sql code that we need to convert then we need to select the target database from the list of the supported databases and on the next page we just need to specify the folder where converted results will be generated. On the migration status page, by clicking start conversion button, we initiate the conversion process. And when the conversion process is finished, we can review the results by clicking view results button. And in the open window we can see all the generated files, and if required we can open a file and review the results of conversion. If you need to convert only one script or statement in order to check the conversion, you can use the iSpy Migration Studio tool and Quick Conversion feature in it. On the start page, just click New Quick Conversion, and in the open window, you just need to select the source. In our case, it's Microsoft SQL Server, the target technology, PostgreSQL database, specify the code or the statement in the left pane, or you can specify the whole file with the code. And click Convert button. Our tool will initiate the conversion and will generate the converted SQL code in the right pane of the tool. The results of the conversion can be compared in both left and right panes for your convenience. Also, iSpy Migration Studio tool allows you to create projects for huge application migrations. So to create project, you just click New Project button, select project type, whether it is database or application migration, and also you need to provide information about solution path and solution name and a project name. And then iSpy Migration Studio tool will open either Sequest Wizard or AngelFly Wizard that I showed you previously. This is all information about the tools for this demo. To try out iSpy Migration and Modernization Toolkit, you can request a demo license for the toolkit on our website www.ispy.com. A demo license key, download links and user guide will be sent to you via email. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.